Good afternoon. Very good to see you. So my name is Pavel. I work, I'm a product strategy director of biggest Polish job board. We have about 3 million people uh, visiting our portal every month, thousands, hundreds of CVs, and one big problem. How to build the loyalty and, uh, and, and, and get engagement of the candidates? The question is very important because currently the Poland has one of the lowest unemployment rates in Europe. And I will elaborate it on later. So, guys, 60 million page views each month, 3 million users, and our brand awareness is, this is not a mistake, it's 97%, and when it comes to spontaneous, it's about 80%. So, we are really big. Um, I think the best introduction to our portal can be the hero of our TV campaign. It's a boss, it's a guy who is representing us for the last three years. Great. W tym miesiącu pracownikiem miesiąca zostaje Ja. <laughs> Znowu ja. Marne szanse na awans. Wejdź na pracuj.pl i sprawdź, czy nie szukasz. I hope it doesn't sound familiar to you. But we have this advertising platform from three years and people love it. And by the way, oh, I see you laughing, we are really laughing, right? And what's important, we see a very direct link between TV campaign and mobile app downloads. So that's what Todor from uh, Job Today said, it really works. But at the same time, when you look at the key facts about the Poland, and the crucial is here, our unemployment rate now, it's from the last year, it's even lower, it's 3.5%. The number one is Germany and Czech Republic with 2.5. So there's a big pressure toward candidates. This is absolutely candidate market. And we really have to work very hard on meeting the demands of the employers. Because uh, we have about like, tens of thousands of companies using us every month. So uh, let me elaborate for a while on our business model. It's quite classic. Employers, candidates. Employers pay, pays with money, candidates pay with data. And our, our role here is to maximize the number of interactions between them and maximize the CVs. Let me elaborate on a platform. So as you all do, we have a mobile app, we have a website, desktop, emails, channels. But on the employer side, we have a very interesting situation because we own two ATS applicant tracking systems. And it gives us unique possibility to provide the information about the CV this candidate sent. So we know when somebody opened the CV, when somebody rejected the CV. And we can deal with this black hole, now, black hole problem. Do you know this problem? You send CV, you know it. Nothing happens. Maybe it wasn't sent at all. Maybe somebody rejected it. So this is the biggest problem we currently have because we have this 3.5 unemployment rate and people are very, very demanding. So today, I would like to focus on point number three, response rate and interactions. It's all about the interactions. As you may know, uh, as all the job boards, we have three platforms with a mobile app being crucial one because the conversions within a mobile app are the highest. People tend to send more CVs through the mobile app than through any other channel. Now the employers' platforms. On the left side, you can see the mini ATS. So every time you post a job on our portal and you don't have an ATS, we give you one for free. It's a part of the service. So it's about more than 50% of the job ads on Pratsuit.pl gets the free 
ATS system each time they publish a, a, a job bed. On the other hand, for the big companies, we have the leading ATS system called eRecruiter. And together, we have a full information about 80% of all of the processes on Pratsby.pl. 80%. So for 8 out of 10 CVs, we know what's going on. This is very, very interesting. And let me show in a moment how we are able to provide the information for candidates and deliver more than 1 million CVs, additional CVs, each year to employers, thanks to it. Uh, who, who knows the GDRP problem? Who struggled until May? Whose product management was absolutely stopped because of European law? I know it's not your problem no more, guys, especially here. Yes? I know it's, 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 it's like not discussed topic, but, but, but you know, but we found some good things in GDRP. Until May, we were sending the CVs to direct uh, to employers' uh, emails. Then we said, guys, this is GDRP. We cannot send you anything. This can be dangerous. And we stopped. And right now, we have full information about all the processes being served in, on the left side, because none of the CVs is opened on an email, which you cannot track, of course. So let's, let's focus on a situation. We have two sides. One of them are candidates. And they have this black hole problem. I send CV, nothing happens. On the other side, I have employers who do not care. And I will elaborate on it. But we have tools to deal with this problem. Uh, just a quick brief about candidate journey. Like you have offer when people apply, recruitment, interview, keep in touch. We'll focus on this right part. OK. So now let's move to candidate and client's perspective. Because it wasn't the spark of a genius. So like we woke up and said, OK, there's a black hole problem. Let's do something about it. It's not like this. Um, we have NPS. Who runs the NPS here? OK. OK, we are crazy about an NPS. We are measuring everything you can think of. So we are also asking our candidates, what do they think about the services? And constantly they said, feedback on the progress of recruitment, so the application status. status. This is the biggest problem we can serve with our tools, the biggest one. And you had it in your presentation also, but I don't have such a cool pictures. We have these young people. Yeah, yeah, you know. We have to start taking pictures, but we said, we always say this anonymous, so we don't. But these are real quotations, so I have doubts whether the application is effective. Often, there is no any answer from the employers. Lack of visibility of progress of the recruitment process. Employers should be obliged to, to provide any information. And I like it mostly. There was no response, no information about the opening of the CV. So very, very simple, simple problem, but the big for these people. Because they apply, nothing really happens. OK, now for the customer perspective. As you may, as you may know, as you may think, uh, with us being the leader in, in Poland, because we run, we run uh, 50,000 job ads, we have 3 million people visiting our portal every day, every month, sorry. We, ha we had these big customers like banks. You, you can see Costa Coffee, you're surely familiar with. So we're thinking, OK, so if we provide the information from the employers, maybe they will stop paying these 10,000 of dollars each month for the of the job that they are posting. So we had this Scrum Agile product discovery process, visiting, discussing, meeting big, biggest clients, doing a lot of service. And what do you think? Do they care? 
they don't care. They really don't care. So first of all, they do not perceive the stage of application as important. So it's also not important for them whether somebody is informed about it. At the same time, they do not have tools. They, they don't know how to do it, because if I get 100 CVs, how can I tell someone that he was rejected, that I liked his CV or disliked? It's a real, real problem. This is the most funny part. During the interviews, they said, we pay you so much money. Give us tools. We want tools from you. So we said, OK, because candidates need quick feedback on every stage. So the dots are here. And we started to work on a topic. So about the interactions. Do you remember I told you that we are able to generate more than a million CVs thanks to the project? So during the, each of the stage I will show in a minute, we are also recommending the job ads. So if, for example, you, what's your name? Dustin. Dustin, and you are in a sales marketing product? Sales. In sales. So let's assume Dustin applied for the sales director and his CV was opened, like the first big step, like smile on his face. We recommend you five different sales directors at the same time. And we will tell you, Dustin, there's still a chance, opportunity for you to, to have another job. And you usually apply. So we start with your first problem. And this is interesting because this is one of the most important statuses we never thought of it can even exist. So it's a delivery of application. People tend to think that something went wrong when CV wasn't there, problem with email, whatever. We have it. Then the CV is opened. Look here. So here you have information. Your CV was opened. The job that you applied for, because maybe you applied for 10 different job ads and you don't know which of, which of the job ads uh, is discussed. And here you have recommendations each time. Then the verification. Every time someone puts a red flag or sends CV to the business or whatever, we give like very general information, very general. Not to go into detail, not to bother employers. Rejection. Do you think people like being rejected? They like. They like it because it's better to know anything. It's like you go for a date with a girl, you, it's, it's nice, and then she doesn't go, and you think, what happens, right? <laughs> well, maybe I screw up, screw up something. So, and, and then she goes, okay, I don't like you, and then you just say, okay, I'm a jerk. Start with another girl, right? And you know, these are another girls. These are recommendations, and this is very and highly, uh, highly performing status of application. Okay. Each time someone applies for the job, we have a few basic questions like a salary, education, and we have very good information to send the comparison. So, Dustin, compared to other candidates, you will have the best, best education. But you want too much money. Important, job at end. The only thing we know is a job at, uh, job board. This is the end, nothing happened. We don't, we, we don't know how to help you. But we are just introducing it. But this is important because it shows that the uh, responsibility is not on our side. Of course, some, also, some general report, how many CV you sent, uh, to what extent, what the status. And the last thing, probably important to, to many of you, because you don't have this comfort of having own ATSs, we also provide information that you applied for the external ATS. Because it also gives an information for the user that he can see the, the job that he applied for, and he understands that it's not our fault if something is uh, going wrong. So, how does it look like? 
this is the three parts of the application status. First of all, what happened with the CV? It was opened, then the offer you applied for, then the recommendation boxes, and some additional content. We also provide different content from different stages. If you are co during the comparison, we provide you the salary reports. If you were opened, we give you, okay, now let's get ready for the interview. There's an account because we try to also maximize the traffic on our website. And the mobile, as you remember, this is the, high, this is the best channel for us, best performer. And here we don't provide any information. We just say something has changed with your status, something. And then you have to open the app, go to the app, and we have addi additional CVs usually. So guys, the results and summary. We have six million statuses providing, provided every month, quite a lot. We are able to have additional 100,000 CVs each month that makes 1 million per year. And these are money for nothing. These are just development costs. Think of the cost of these CVs when you buy them through any kind of uh, external party. And we have additional traffic in the website, in the application, and we are able to build the loyalty and engagement of the candidates. So, that's all from my side. Thank you very much. If you have any question, I'll be there during the break. Thank you.